How's it going, everybody? It's Pauly back again to give you another video. I know it's been a while since I haven't posted, but you know, better late than never, right? So here I got a process video of how I did these two paintings. They're done in acrylic, and uh, I feel like I went about them, you know, how I how I got to the final process or the final stage was pretty interesting. So I like to share that with you all. Um, so yeah, without further delay, let's get into the video. Yeah. That guy's a trip. Anywho, so what you're seeing now is me just trying to sketch out the pieces and how I want the uh, compositions to go. This is done in Procreate on my iPad. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to give it a feel of how I'd like to compose these pieces and like what the subject matter is. And so, yeah. So yeah, here we are onto the process. So what I first did with these pieces was just get uh, two 18 by 20 uh, size canvases. I did a wash over them. So this is what you see here. Like this is uh, like a wash of like just some blue acrylic over, over the uh, surface. So I sketched out the figure in Sharpie. Uh, I, I like using like the permanent Sharpie painting or doing pencil drawings for these paintings, like without like a projector or anything like that is like super tedious. Like I really like the permanence and just the like bold colors I can get with, with Sharpies over top the washes, you know? So I like to do the wash first and then like sketch with Sharpies. So yeah, you see me trying to just block in the colors, block in the flats and like where the shadows are and everything like that, where the light is coming from and how it's hitting this figure's face, you know? So right here, you'll see me uh, kind of struggle with this hand. Usually when you try and foreshorten a body part, you'll have like the closest part to the camera, so to speak, um, or to the viewer um, be the biggest thing, you know, but the hand was just outrageously too big. So I figured I'd just, you know, try and fix that and paint over and everything and just redraw the hand. So that's what you'll see me doing here. So a little bit about this uh, painting, it's called uh, The Comforter or Comforter. And it's basically just representing the Holy Spirit and like the form of like uh, fire and also a bright light as well as just like you'll see at the towards the end of it, it it'll take the shape of a dove as well. I'm, I'm depicting the Holy Spirit in this way uh, for a number of reasons, you know, uh, this Holy Spirit came down like a dove when uh, Christ was baptized. Um, the Holy Spirit also came down or like the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit came down on all the disciples on the day of Pentecost as a tongue of flame. So I like to use that motif of like somebody who's a Christian or, or you know, has the Holy Spirit dwelling in them, them depicting having a, um, a tongue of fire above their head. And you know, the Holy Spirit being just like a bright light within all of our lives, you know, and just guiding us in our path, uh, being the comforter that, that Christ 
So yeah, just bringing that imagery to this piece and just, um, you know, shrouding the character in darkness, you know, that's where the comforter comes in as well. Like, you know, during our dark times, during times of uh, just like seasons of, of depression or, or even just, you know, not knowing where to go, going to the comforter and finding that light and finding that warmth from the comforter uh, really inspired this piece, you know, inspired me uh, to make this piece. So yeah, that's the story behind this piece, you know. I remember having a really tough time uh, painting out the face and trying to get the forms right. I wanted it to obviously be believable that the piece was um, being lit from the bo uh, the bottom. So yes, here we are, the comforter. All right, on to the next one. This one is called uh, Sanctification Process, right? And so uh, you see a little bit of me. I, I took a lot of reference photos for both of these pieces, um, both to my uh, help and detriment. <laughs> it was really hard trying to uh, construct a face that didn't look like mine because I wanted these pieces to, like, you know, uh, be... So taking reference photos was a bit of a both a detriment and a help for sure. Just getting the lighting and everything right was uh, very helpful, but uh, it was really hard to try and steer away from my likeness, you know, because I wanted it to look like, you know, I wanted other people to put themselves in their the, uh, the figure shoes. You know, this is supposed to be like a universal kind of thing. Like we all go through or as, as Christians, we go through. Um, needing the comforter and just uh, having the comforter work through us during our times of struggle, as well as uh, the sanctification process of like shooing away the uh, crows and the and the fowls of the air, which is you know the representation of the devil, and uh, you know the spiritual warfare that goes on in the in the Christian's mind, and how uh, you know the sanctification process is the, the shooing away of like the the fowls of the air that may have made a nest on top of our mind you know uh that specific analogy came from came from this sermon that my pops uh who's a pastor <laughs> had uh you know used during his sermon and i thought it was a very interesting uh illustration idea because uh you know i i think it'd just be an interesting image to have you know like showing a way of like the certain mindsets that we may carry or the certain ideas that we may harbor on our minds that need to be purged if we are to follow Christ and everything like that. So, yeah, I think I really like this piece a lot. I really like how it came out. I love the colors. I was going for this Phil Hale kind of like uh, inspired background where he uses like these really nice voluminous clouds against this like, you know, uh, backdrop especially with the series of paintings that he did for um uh, i think his name was like joey bad hair or something like that so yeah i thought this painting was was really fun I, it, it was a lot of fun painting it and it, i went about it the same process as well uh did the sketch in sharpie and then just worked acrylic on top I like working in acrylic a lot because I can just, you know, lay down an idea, lay down a stroke of paint and just like, you know, in maybe five minutes or so, it'll, you know, dry up and then I can just work on top of it. You know, I'm, I'm pretty impatient when it comes to painting. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a bit tough, but like, 
<laughs> working with oils, just having to wait and, and go about that process. Whereas I have acrylic, I can just, um, you know, put new ideas on top of new ideas and everything like that. Just layer all these different ideas on top of one another. So yeah, I like acrylic for that reason. So I'm not too sure why I got rid of the green. I think I was uh, like the greenish yellowish clouds. I think I was afraid that it may look like fart clouds. <laughs> so I just um, went over it with like bluer clouds. I, I think it's a little, a little less interesting without the yellow and the green, but um, I still like how the clouds came out and the textures I was able to achieve with the paint, but yeah. As we go towards a, you know, the, the end of this uh, process, I just want to thank you guys once again for um, just watching this video. Uh, thank you for all the subscribers, all the uh, progress we made this on this channel. I know I haven't been around for a while. I uh, just had a lot of life stuff going on, a lot of good stuff, not not bad, but just like a lot of just uh, opportunities and different, um, uh, yeah, just a lot of different opportunities that happened and like you know took away my uh, focus from doing youtube videos but i have a lot to share with you guys very very soon um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys uh, are staying safe hopefully god is blessing you with any endeavor you're going through or you're in or any season that you're in This is how the pieces came out and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a beautiful new year. Enjoy yourselves. Stay blessed. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.